What is going on toy fam? Project Piper Customs here and we are back with another toy photography setup. And in today's one we're going to be taking a look at panels and how to turn your toy art and make it look like a page straight out of the comic book. We're also going to be looking at forced perspective, some lighting tricks and cutouts. There's a lot to get through today but I'm going to be touching upon each one of those as we get through the video. With all that, let's go. Welcome back Toy Fam, and as you can see here through the viewfinder, we have the setup for panel one. This is the four panel shoot, and here we have Claw and Killmonger, and this is a business deal gone bad, and they've wiped everyone out, and they're making off with the money and the loot. So let's have a look at the setup. Okay, so as you can see here, we've got a bunch of Marvel Legends suited bodies, um, and we've got one dude still alive on the floor, and Killmonger's telling him to leave none alive on the, the cutout there. Okay, so we've got the DHL vans, the getaway, and I'm using a couple of uh, red laser pointer pens and they're hitting the back of the van and they're acting as sort of the brake lights uh, giving that residual light coming off for when it's parked up and we've got a little push button LED there down the bottom on the floor giving off some sort of street ambiance from the road in front and we've got a couple more on top being diffused by tissue paper and they'll be coming through and acting uh, like ceiling lights for the inside of the roof giving it a bit more, a bit more atmosphere as you can see under there Okay, and just basically like a back alley setup. So I've got the two diorama wall pieces there. And we'll be using a Claw's extra arm accessory for the next panel, which is the opened up laser cannon, as you can see here. Okay, so that'll be in the next couple of panels along where he's going to be blasting the dude that's on the floor. And we'll be bringing it to life with this purple laser pen. All right, so you can see that shine on the floor. We'll be aiming it at the cannon. Okay, and bringing it to life on camera and it should come out pretty well so next on we're going to have a look at the lights that i'm using for the setup and it's just a couple of desk lamps one's filtered just to give it a bit of uh, street lighting a bit of mood street lighting and then we're going to take a look at the the cutout itself that's uh, mounted on an acba flight stand and you can see here that i've have it lined up so it looks like one of the bars running down the side of the van door so if you look through the viewfinder here you can see it's pretty much hidden in plain sight and that's keeping the uh, the cutout aloft. Okay, so let's get on with the shoot. Okay, so as we're finishing up with panel one, as you can see, I'm just adding some fake blood to the body that's by the door and to a few of the other victims just to give it a bit more drama in the scene. And before we move on to panel two, I just wanted to touch upon the cutouts of the speech bubble, as you can see there. Now, in my previous uh, segment, you saw that I had used an ACBA flight stand and I hid the stand in plain sight by lining it up so it looked like it was the bar that runs down the side of the open door there. And that's keeping the, the, uh, the cutout elevated. Now the trick with cutouts is to have them always facing the camera, never at an angle, and also to have them parallel with your camera frame. Wherever the frame of the shot is, and you've got a speech bubble or a sound effect in there, it's good to have it parallel with that. Okay, I'll pick these cutouts that were ready-made from the ACBA Articulated Comic Book Art website, and I'll leave a link in the uh, description for that, to go over there and uh, pick up some for yourself. Now as we're moving on and setting up panel 2, I'm just readjusting Killmonger now, and he is um, in this part he is placing the bag of cash into the van and of course uh, Claw is about to execute the dude on the floor with his laser cannon so this is panel two and with that I just wanted to touch upon the trick lighting I'm using as you can see here I'm just getting the laser pointers back into focus now I'm using these to um, give the illusion of the brake lights of the van now the, the lights themselves will not be visible in the shot but the residual light coming from them that will be so it just adds a little bit more dynamic uh, feel to it a bit more realism and the laser pens are really handy for bringing to life any kind of little trick lighting if you're using a figure that has an illumination on him say like for instance terminator you can use the laser pens for his eyes or uh, best case is if you're using a predator and you can illuminate the targeting laser on the side of his head and even with a bit of vape or an aerosol you can actually bring the laser beam out and make the laser beam visible which will really enhance the shot so it's a good tangible way to bring those lights into into fruition okay so as we're now moving into panel three you see i've got the laser cannon open and i'll be using another one of these laser pens to illuminate the tip of the cannon to make it look like it's powering up before the final panel 
And with this segment, I'd also like to just touch upon the force perspective I had going on with the van. Now the van itself is made by a company called Bruder, and it's actually a smaller scale van the, uh, compared to the regular 112 scale, which is six inch for the figures. This van is actually 1 16th scale. And the force perspective here is that I have a low camera angle and I'm looking up. Um, which uh, which basically makes the uh, the illusion of the van uh, seem that it's big enough to be in scale with these these size figures. Okay, so force perspective is trying to make something that's either out of scale look bigger or smaller on camera by distance and camera angle. So for this one, as I say, just using the lower camera angle and I'm looking up and it enhances the back of the van to make it look big enough that it's in scale with the figures. So now uh, for the final shot, I'm bringing the camera into a close up of Claw's face, and this will act as like a horror movie cut away scene just before the the fatality execution and I've just got the orb light and the laser pen to act as a flash from the kill shot of his arm cannon along with some more fake blood and that that is how it all came together okay just wanted to give you a quick look at the last panel as it will be a cropped photo of uh, Claw's face as a close-up and I'm using the laser pen and I'm just aiming it here at his shoulder so that the glare can bounce straight onto his face and uh, highlight some of the fake blood that I have painted on him I still got the lamps in place providing that street light wash so if we get low and you can see some of the uh, the fake blood that I've applied on his face and arm there obviously as just a result of him killing a dude on the floor and also give you a look at Killmonger's pose on panel three as you can see he's just using his foot to slide the bad guy off of the van now let's have a look at each panel And there it is and I'm quite happy with how this one turned out it's pretty much how I envisioned it in my head and that's the important thing when doing a panel shot is deciding on how many panels you want to have fit your scene so that the whole scene flows from one section to the next so you've always got something happening in each panel and it has a beginning middle and end um, and yeah so I use the in collage app on the Android phone to create this one and that I particularly like because it has a freestyle option you're not limited to the space and size that you have in the uh, the grid layouts that you would normally get with other collage apps and you can lay out your panels however you see fit and that will wrap it up for today guys thank you so much for watching if you could hit the hat trick of like subscribe and notification bell to stay up to date with my latest content that would be awesome and if you're on facebook please do check out toy comics inc one of the fastest growing action figure communities on the social network and it'll be great to chop it up with your fellow collectors and toy photographers there's weekly competitions and believe me it's worth your time and that'll be it for now guys thank you again for watching and until next time